Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from The Big Chubowski in round two of this second week. Uh, I did not upload the first round because honestly, there wasn't really anything worth watching in my opinion. Uh, the guy doesn't attack half the time and this was one of those rounds. And I dropped a battle trying to get uh, a feed done, which was a bit of a pain because in general all of his teams were pretty strong. And I think I dropped one testing something, so... There were actually two losses, but uh, I knew he wasn't going to break anything I did either because he said almost everything on defense. So nothing worth uploading there. Uh, this one, Ward Don or Ward 1, I don't know which of the two it is, uh, from the guild Doombringer. But it remains to be seen how much Doom he's going to bring because he doesn't really bother with arenas. He doesn't really bother with Grand Arena as you can see from the lifetime score. So uh, he's got two Galactic Legends, Rey and Jedi Master Luke. And he does have the ultimate on Rey here, but he set her on defense and uh, the defensive one does not have the ultimate yet. So I guess he finally uh, committed there. But 6.7 mil GP, uh, it's starting to get higher and higher, the kind of stuff that I face. But with these two Galactic Legends, for me, Sith Eternal Emperor on defense is basically a win button. Though there is a Vader counter to it, I think about half the people fail that. So uh, yeah, that would make things pretty easy for me to just keep everything else on offense by setting that on defense. But I thought I wouldn't do the super predictable thing uh, because it's not really a, let's say, an opponent where I need to worry about uh, him potentially outbannering me or anything like that. So I figured instead of doing that, I'd go with something else and sort of save that uh, Sith Eternal Emperor on defense thing for another time. So I'm just thinking about future opponents here rather than uh, the one I'm currently facing. So as mentioned, he put his JML on defense and some other teams. And then over here, he's got a Ray on defense as well, but without the ultimate here. And then a pretty nasty Ray Jedi training, Ray scavenger and what team. Uh, that, that one honestly is going to be the one that makes me think most, I think. So on my defense, I said JML. And then, yeah, just a bunch of other teams. I kept quite a lot for offense. So uh, what I wanted to talk a bit about is when it makes sense to use a solo Galactic Legend against a Galactic Legend with two other characters. Because that's what I'll be doing over here. There isn't really any reason for me to bring extra characters. And I've seen a lot of people that like to bring along other characters just to be safe. But there are many, many situations where it doesn't make sense. Sith Eternal Emperor on defense, for example, uh, you just really don't want to bring in Supreme Leader Kylo and then two more characters because all those two characters do is cost you banners and fill up the ultimate for Sith Eternal Emperor quicker. And if Rey is here, which is the first one I'd like to tackle, uh, and there's Holdo and L3 in there, for example, but there's no ultimate on Rey, there's really no reason to bring anyone other than Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Now mine is modded for health, which makes most sense for 3v3 in my opinion. Uh, so he's got 185k health, so he could even tank an ultimate if he needed to. But considering there's no damage here from Holdo and L3, and it's just going to be Whirlwinds from Rey, there is no reason to bring anyone else because you're just going to drop them to Whirlwinds. So if you are playing some kind of banner match and you have to be efficient, then be smart about it and don't sort of send in a bit of overkill, uh, which actually just costs you more banners. So Sith Eternal Emperor, that's the obvious one. Uh, if you use your Supreme Leader Kylo, you really don't want to add other characters. It just doesn't make any sense. But uh, against Rey, well, it depends a bit. Like if Rey doesn't have an ultimate, but there is, for example, a Resistance Hero Finn and a Resistance Hero Poe, does it then make sense to bring your Supreme Leader Kylo by himself or should there be other characters? So that kind of stuff can uh, vary a lot. And as you can see here, I take a whirlwind, it takes like 25% of my health, I think. So that's barely anything. Uh, I think I can just kill Holder now, it doesn't really make a difference. I could probably auto play this to be fair, but uh, just taking my time to talk through a couple things. Then the other one you can have some question marks about is Jedi Master Luke under Bastilla Elite with what? Uh, a lot of people like to set that team. And uh, it is a team that you can solo with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, even if you're slower, etc. Uh, that doesn't really matter. It just takes a bit of time to build up. But again, if you bring additional characters for that match, 
it uh, doesn't make any sense. I'm going into ultimate here. If you don't have ultimate on your Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, it doesn't matter. As you can see, you'll still win. Uh, it's mostly just the goal to be at full health. So you get that extra banner out of it and you get your 55. But yeah, SLK can be great against Ray without ultimate as a solo and against Jedi Master Luke under Bastilla lead. Uh, if Jedi Master Luke himself is in the lead, of course, then uh, definitely don't do it. But uh, for now, it was an option. So let me just check how fast this... Okay, that's a really slow fin. So I'm probably going to go with the... I think I have them on offense, the Night Sisters here. Because that allows me to keep CLS... Well, Han and Chewie against the what? Uh, and I think that's probably a better choice. Though I have to check how fast he is. 293. So it's going to be a bit tricky to try to uh, get him under control. And he has some added tenacity as well. Though Chewie should be able to deal with that with tenacity down. So let's do that. Night Sisters over here. Uh, Tells in Daka and Spirit. Should be able to immediately pick off this guy here. There we go. A bit lower hit than last time, but it's fine. Then uh, this guy is going to cleanse. So I'd rather just immediately go for resistance hero Po. See if I can take him off. And there I got lucky with the double stun. So hopefully I can get 54 here. Looks like it. Awesome. All right, then uh, against this Ray team, this one might be the trickiest one, as mentioned. I also thought about bring, bringing Ray Jedi training BB-8 and R2, but uh, I think with the Relic 7 Scavenger, although not well modded, uh, once it gets weapon tech, which it definitely would, uh, although health tech might be more likely, I uh, would probably be in for a lot of pain. So uh, instead, I want to try something different. I use Wedge, Han, and Chewie to prevent the tech from ever going out, and I think that gives me a cleaner shot at beating this team, but uh, remains to be seen. So we stun what at the start. I get some turn meter from a wedge lead for Han here, and this has to stun, which it did, like stun or kill. And uh, now I can immediately go for scavenger ray. Uh, I'll go for the AOE just to strip the foresight over here, I think. Uh, although I might actually control her because I don't really want to take too much damage. Could have gone with an AoE there to strip the foresight, but I don't really want to hurry the fight up. I was kind of hoping Chewie could still heal, but uh, that's not going to happen. So it's going to be a 53, but I'll take that as well. So let's take a look at the back we've got. Yeah, he's pretty much doing what he's always doing, which is just kind of chucking most on defense and... Uh, not really bothering on offense, which is a bit unfortunate for me trying to get any feats done. It's uh, It was a big pain last round. I really tried to make it work, but I just couldn't with the teams that he set. So I still have to do uh, four kills with the veterans and that bow, fin and resistance trooper thing. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, either of the guys that I would face in the finale is definitely not going to set something so weak that I can use that team. And you can see here for yourself, there's nothing for me uh, to get the feed done. Uh, I can try and risk it on something like Newt, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure I won't make it. So uh, it's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. Now the next one I want to undersize, uh, the next uh, and only other Galactic Legend, is Jedi Master Luke. So even with the combination of uh, Jedi Knight Luke and Hermit Yoda in there, I should be able to solo that. Now, this guy has a very healthy Jedi Master Luke, 161k health, and only 486 speed, which is not too much. But a really important uh, part of this fight is if you solo it with Sith Eternal Emperor, you have to be faster, because if you're slower, mine being 533 speed here, if you are slower and the ability blocks you, then you cannot link Jedi Master Luke and uh, Jedi Knight Luke, as I'll show you over here which means that they get a lot more damage in initially and your ultimate does not fill up as fast as uh, it would if they were already linked. So that actually makes the fight rather risky and uh, could cost you the win. 
So I'd say that's the only factor that really matters here. Are you faster or not? And if you are, then it's pretty much an automatic win. Uh, and if you're not, it's a whole different story. Now, what also matters, obviously, is how is your Sith Eternal Emperor modded? If you have a very offensive one and not as focused on survivability, then uh, chances are also that you will fall short. Because you can see here, I have like a bit of uh, protection. But if you don't get that initial link and they start hitting you really a lot, then uh, that could cost you the win. So over here, who you target, it doesn't matter a lot. Uh, because you're already in the ultimate. I do keep getting the ability block. Uh, over here, I think it makes sense to just pick off Jedi Knight Luke. Because he is the main damage dealer. Now do this. And I can relink these guys if I want to. Uh, don't really need to. But I might as well once it's available. Just to ensure that I also get some protection back. And the protection helps me to get the full health banner towards the end. As a... They're stacking protection uh, from uh, one of his uniques. So if I keep recovering that and eventually it out, out heals the damage he does, then I end at the full banner, which is what I was aiming for. So yeah, if you have an offensive uh, City Turtle Emperor or you're slower, uh, I'm not as confident it would work. I think the offensive one will work if you're faster, but uh, slower is definitely an issue. It can still work, but... Uh, yeah, there's certainly more risk involved. So other teams that are left then, I think I want to try to do defeat uh, with the veterans against Asajj, uh, Nest and Acolytes over here. There's no plague. Uh, Asajj obviously does have a bunch of damage and the veterans don't really have a lot of healing. So this might be a stupid idea, but uh, wouldn't be my first one. So it would have been Kylo and then the veterans and just try to quickly kill them uh, not like stall forever to make sure that I get enough kills just uh, burn them down and hopefully get one or two kills with uh, those guys that's basically the plan so together veteran smuggler Han Solo and Kylo Ren will need to do the AoE damage for me to kill uh, Acolyte so that means that if I lose uh, Han Solo I might not be able to clear them so uh, there's certainly some risk here that I'll lose and they're immediately targeting him, which I'm certainly not too happy with. Uh, twice now, it seems. So let's see what we can do. I'll have to strip all of his uh, protection first. So I get Acolyte to about half health. That is uh, decent. Let's put that back. So right now I just need one Han AoE to line up with Kylo. And then I'll be able to pick off Acolyte the first time. Oh, actually, I got her this way. That works uh, quite well. Alright, turns lined up nicely here because now Han can get some kills, hopefully. Yes, nice. But I'll have to try to finish this off soon. Uh, because Han is starting to look a bit low here, and if Asajj can get to him, then uh, she's certainly going to mow him down, I think. Okay, Kylo gets stunned. Oof, yeah, that's what I was concerned about. Uh, I really don't want him to go down, that's a problem. So let's do an AoE, but he is going down here. Yep, I thought that might happen. Alright, uh, let's pick off Asajj here, just gonna go with the stun, in case I wouldn't kill. That's another team kill for uh, Team Veterans, so uh, I'll drop some banners, but I'm uh, quite alright with it. 48, I think I might even have defeat, or maybe I'm one kill away. Okay, got it done, awesome. I'm uh, happy with that. So let's claim it. And get back to the match. Uh, pretty glad that worked out because the last round it was such a pain to try to get anything done. Alright. So for the remaining teams then, uh, like I said, the Finn, Resistance Trooper, Po thing. I don't think it would work against Bosk, as tempting as it seems. Like if you look at the modding here, all defense, though the primaries actually suck. 
Hmm. I had not looked that far, to be honest. So we still got some health to strip. But, uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of a stretch. More than a bit. Also, that Dooku team, definitely nasty. And the fives lead one would take me quite a while to burn through, I think. So, uh, I have to make some choices on what I want to send in. And I think what's going to make most sense is for me to use Rage Out of Training on the crew team. Uh, over here in the back, I could try and use it against Dooku, for example. But uh, I think the Droidica, like if it gets any chance to target me, I'm pretty much dead. So that seems like an awful pick. So let's do this instead. Resistance. And burn through that one. Hopefully I don't have to do what I had to do a couple matches ago. Like cycle through. Illuminate a destiny. Uh, how many times was it? I think like four to try to get R2 back to full. But it was a match where uh, those banners certainly mattered initially. Before uh, he did his attack, so... Yeah, this is going to be one of those, I think. It's looking that way anyway. So let's pick him off. Yeah, this is already... We're, we're basically two Illuminated Destiny cycles in to try to get all my protection back, so... I'll uh, fast forward this one, I guess. Because there won't be too much to see other than me uh, stalling really hard. Alright, had to do the extra round there. I wanted to make sure I wouldn't put in all that effort and then be like a tenth short or something. So that one down, uh, I can definitely do Treya against the Geos. Uh, or something with Vader and Watt, since uh, I kept those anyway. Might actually go for that. And then against the Dooku team, I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, probably Padme, actually. Didn't know if I had her on offense. Uh, so Geos, we use Vader and Watt. Let me just quickly check the speeds. 244, yeah, I thought I remembered him being slower. Only a little bit, but slower is slower. Though uh, there's also a good chance that I'll get a counter in that I might not be able to mitigate. Uh, I'll see though. So Vader what? Should be fine. So weapon tech. And Merciless Force Crush on Brute so that he doesn't counter. I'll try to pick off. I guess Spy can pretty much be basic, so I think I'll try to pick off Geo Brute Alpha. There we go. Yeah, that's a basic and another one. Good. Um, do the Dooku one next, I guess. With Galactic Republic, but me... Probably using GK here. Can't say I feel super confident that my Ahsoka is able to tank the Droidica. Then again, the extra dispels do really help me. Uh, so maybe I would even leave Anakin out and go with this. That might be a... Uh, Smart idea. There's no healing on their end. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's see if I can pick off Droidica before uh, he gets any chances. Probably not gonna happen, but okay, nice. Uh, this should kill. Hmm. Let's get Droidica under control. Of course a dodge. Why wouldn't it be? Uh, I don't want Dooku to counter me.
Yeah, I had a feeling you'd go for Ahsoka. Unfortunate. Otherwise, I think it could have been a 54. Well, I'll take this as well. Next up, the new team. I've still got JKR. Uh, I guess JKR is going to make most sense against the new team. Out of what, I've ha what I have left, JKL could go against any of them, probably. But I think against fives will probably make most sense just to do enough damage to burn through. Otherwise, it'll take a while. So JKR over here. With... Grandmaster Yoda, and do I really need a third? I don't want to get cocky after having done well, but... Uh, I mean, I've got a hell of a lot of damage. 64% tenacity, that shouldn't be an issue. The Django does get... Uh, damage immunity, though. So he's certainly going to do some damage. Uh, well, let's try. Let's see what we can learn from this. I've got one uh, savior thing, so we'll see. I'm not going to get uh, full banners for it, though. I'm just curious if this works. Uh, I don't want a direct focus right here. Alright, let's try and get at least nests protection down, but I can steal the... Hmm, do I want to steal? I don't think I want to steal, now. Okay, that's the protection gone. This might end up being a mistake. Uh, mostly, like... Ooh, that was nasty. Um, I should probably go ahead and kill Newt here. But then again, I've already burned my savior, haven't I? So essentially this whole thing is going to end up being really dumb. No, I still got a chance. Let's do this. Uh, do an AoE. And I might spread the foresight here. Yeah, I've got to protect myself, I think. Keep doing these. And this to finish it off. Yeah, it worked. I mean, I would have had the same banners with the third. Uh, I really don't think... Like, in 3v3, it's insanely hard to get 54 with JKR. It's a bit ridiculous. There's always someone who gets hit and then... Uh, or, like, targeted a bit and then you just can't get it back. Alright, in the back, uh, as mentioned, against the five team, I'll use JKL. And I've also still got Malak to solo something. I guess Malak could solo fives, Barris, Echo. Would be better Barris for sure. Let's do that then. I'm saying for sure here, but doesn't fives have like really annoying protection recovery? We'll find out momentarily. Though eventually... I should be alright with the drains. Paris is gonna clear those debuffs. I just need them to hit uh, me a couple more times and then it's fine. This is one of those opponents where I feel like it doesn't make sense to keep Malak on defense with Dark Revan. Uh, he would drop enough banners as is with uh, Dark Revan and Bastilla Fallen, so I might as well undersize something. And it's nice to show in the history as well that I do something completely different, puts people off a bit for the next weeks. So hmm, I, it's tempting to try to get that feat, I'm not gonna lie, but I had a really bad experience last round. And these guys would certainly keep healing Bosk quite a lot. 
uh, and I don't have the kind of recovery that they do. So I just don't see how it could work. My resistance trooper is so insanely squishy. So I'm like really heavily considering to uh, do something against the Bolsk team, but I guess I'll just send in JKL. Not even going to add other characters because it's uh, purely for the feet here. And if I lose, then that's actually okay. So they start with a taunt. With all of their stuff. And I guess it's going to make most sense for me to leave Zam. Though I might not get the chance depending on uh, some of the counters here. Hmm, this is a bit tricky. Whoever shoots at me, I shouldn't have put up that uh, Jedi's will. Big mistake actually. Okay, so the way I can do this actually is with like two seconds to go or something, attack Boba. So that I leave just one character, but there's not enough time for that for me to counter attack. So that's going to be the play here. I'm going to let it time out. And then uh, at the end do that hit. Right, so the final seconds. And now I attack, pick off Boba, and there's no time for the other thing to happen. I could have maybe even gone before Zam, but it's like, uh, why risk it? So then now I bring in the resistance. Make sure it's the right characters. Hopefully Zam... Yeah, I thought she might do that. God dang it. Uh, uh, let's get rid of that speed. So there's no point yet in me cleansing because the... Mines haven't hit yet. So I've got to wait a little bit and hopefully I can still heal up here looks like it oh great of course well at least I didn't strip it strip any protection so that's still a 34 and the feet done kind of lame because I can get like an insanely high score here if I wouldn't throw away a match for that feat but it is what it is uh, I can under also like looking at the fleets I can undersize both of them really hard so I will uh, go with these three and bring in Plo. Might not even get to Plo. We'll see. Not often anymore that you see Wedge and Biggs in the starting lineup. So I'll just target Wedge with this one. Should be okay. So here the AOE is tempting, but uh, like if you look at fives as protection, I think I'd rather get blow in. Just stall a little bit longer, and uh, then get the job done. So that's a 68, otherwise I guess it would have been 67. And then over here... Oh jeez, I'm like almost tempted to not even bring the Vulture Droid. But let's not <laughs> do stupid stuff here. Never know what the reinforcements are if I'm gonna get dodged like crazy. At least there's no TFP. And uh, I guess he has to be the first to take all the hits, so... Uh, let's do this. And there goes the banner stripping. And the cleansing. The cleansing is actually a bit annoying.
See if I can pick him off. Not yet. Yeah, so it's certainly a slow fight. I'm kind of glad uh, I ended up not undersizing further. I would have made it for sure, I think. But this whole fight is lasting way longer than it needs to. But that's about to end here. 466, yeah. Figured. Alright, so if I would add 20 on top, I'd get 2680. Um, I'd be alright with that. So, even with the one loss, there's no chance for him to beat me, I think. Um, doesn't have anything against GML. So, I can show you the end, and uh, you can see what score he got, but pretty sure I'm gonna be facing one of these guys in the final round, Zen or Sly. I think I might have seen either or both of them in uh, brackets in the past. So this guy also just two Galactic Legends and 5.9 mil GP, so pretty crazy gap with the, my current opponent. And then more likely this one with four, 540k lifetime and three Galactic Legends. Uh, no SLK, so, and no ultimate on City Eternal Emperor, so that certainly weakens his uh, chances a fair bit. So uh, I can put my SCE on defense and I can uh, SLK his Sith Eternal Emperor unless he puts all of his Galactic Legends on defense. So maybe if I fight him, that's what he'll uh, try to do. Uh, we'll see though. I'll uh, let you know what my current opponent does and uh, then I can start thinking about what to do there. <laughs>